damn, you are the biggest hate and I hope. I saw what you tweeted out on Twitter when you released that track talking about this, a little bit of recklessness in Is it not true? Disrespect that I am maturing. And I'm soon gonna pass you, big man. Let me, oh, editor, put this in the video in the comments, people. Slap that I, Cappy, I'm more mature than CM, whoever they be reactionary people. Is it one? No, it's two. Side by side, I don't have no clue. I'm talking a hardy, shedding out gigs. Cappy is the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense. Hence, you can't just sit on the fence. Come true the foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. Aim top corner, roll top scorers. We spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins to the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings in a 1v1 to see who wins. In UFC. Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Manchester United 3, Sheriff Terraspo 0. And that was exactly the result that was needed to give us the best possible chance to finish first going into the final fixture against Real Sociedad. We won 2 0 today against Ammonia. Quick update on the table Sociedad are top on 15 points, and we're second on 12. From what I've read, Head-to-head -head is utilised first, so if we were to win by one goal against Real Sociedad, it wouldn't be enough to finish top as goal difference would then come into play, with Sociedad being superior by three at this moment of time, or in the case of a one-goal victory, by two. Long story short, in order to finish top of Group E, we will need to win the game by two goals or more to avoid the extra knockout stage where we'd have to face a team coming down from the Champions League. So on to the game now. I thought for the most part we controlled it well, mostly due to the fact that Sheriff defended virtually with all the 11 players back and didn't really show any ambition to get forward and take the game to us. And the goal before half time I thought was crucial to settle the nerves because as you all know, when the clock keeps ticking, the pressure starts rising, so I'm glad the Lowe was able to secure a great header from that corner kick. Rashford's goal was worked ever so nicely in the second half, and he continues his good form in this competition with three and three now, I believe. He used the pace of the cross to guide that header into the back of the net. Just a, a wonderful cross, wonderfully worked goal, great header all round. Now, Beyond everything that's happened, beyond everything, it was good to see Ronaldo get his goal and hopefully everything can be left behind now. You know, what's happened, what happened, happened against Spurs. We had the Chelsea game and now we've had this game against Sheriff. As a fan base, as a club, as a team, let's leave it all behind and support like the fans in the stadium did when he scored his goal, when he missed some chances, they encouraged him as they did encourage the rest of the team just get it out of your system and let's continue with the rest of this season now that really completed a well executed performance that demonstrated our progression in terms of patient build-up play still a lot to develop and, and grow but we'll get there with time i think a lot of us as fans are starting to come around to that idea that the manager needs time team needs time of course there will be players that come and go in a year's time in two years time in three years time but we just can't have success instantly a lot of the time when success does come in an instant it's not sustainable so let's just be patient for once we're not asking for too much especially this season we just want to see a little bit of progression along the way and then whatever happens after that we know we'll be heading in the right direction very happy with tonight's performance everything that cm said we took our chances and we did what we needed to do to win the game <sighs> you know what i want to shout out alejandro garnacho for a very solid performance looked like a man on a mission today took on his markers with confidence and the quantity was there too mm. those little things are what a lot of people including myself have been asking from our wingers Having the confidence to take on your man with the execution and reading of the game to pick the correct moments. 
I want to see more of that from not just one person, but everybody that steps on the pitch for United. It makes you more of a threat and less predictable. Shout out to the lads for getting it done. Next up, we have West Ham on the weekend. So let's see if we can get back to winning ways in the Premier League. For what it seems like a, a few teams in and around us having a few shaky moments as well. So we'll have to see what happens when the game comes around on the weekend. But ladies and gentlemen, oh, hold on. Before I do a little outro, yeah. I want to say, yo, Anthony, don't listen to these people, yeah. Man, do one fidget spinner. Yeah, the pass is a little off target. Next time you get the pass, just a, just a little bit, like, just a smidge better, yeah. But all these people want to do is moan. Man want rave, but all these people want to do is moan, bruv. Whether it's the commentary, whether it's the pundits after the game, man. Burn them out, Bridgen. You do your thing on the pitch. Continue to express yourself when you want, whenever. It doesn't matter whether it's the first minute, the second minute or the 90th minute. You do what you need to do to enjoy the game of football. Because it looks like some of these people want to take the enjoyment out of the game. And I'm not here for it. Hey, <laughs> listen, fam. Calm down, fam. But, but you're not like, all right, all right, all right, all right, man. <laughs> you too see it, man. Always want to ruin the game, but make, make the thing boring, bruv. We want entertainment. Man, want to rave. Anyway. Anyway. Here's the people. Be sure to hit a like on the video if you've enjoyed. Subscribe to CM22 ENT if you're new. Drop a comment in there telling us what you thought of the game and... And any other stuff you want to say to us, you want to say hi, we'll say hi back. We, we don't buy. We, we definitely don't buy. Well, I don't know about CM, but I don't anyway. But there's a little bit of a hater. You never know these days. But yes, be sure to follow CM22ENT over on Twitch. Where you'll see CM doing NBA chillophones, wrestling chillophones, WWE Crown Jewel coming up soon. Kind of off the target, but hey, it don't matter. We do what we need to do promo settings and all of that stuff be sure to join the community discord large up the 22s each and every time follow on all socials twitter tiktok you know the rest ladies and gentlemen thank you for viewing this video like i said drop a little comment to tell us you was there drop a drop a 22 in the comments to show that you have reached the very end of this video ladies and gentlemen we'll be back after the west ham fix stroke until the next time, we'll see you lot. See you